Hello, y'all. Good morning. Good morning, 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 morning. Y'all, first of all, don't come for me if I ain't serving for you. Oh! same hoodie yeah i got on the same wig well i only got two wigs anyways to be honest <laughs> but yeah y'all good morning i just dropped my uh i just dropped my little mama off y'all i'm gonna go give you my mcdonald's breakfast because i'm real upset that i didn't get to get it yesterday holy i is upset it's so weird going this way because i would go this way for <laughs> to go to work but y'all <coughs> I got now that phlegm is like really coming up <coughs> or now I'm taking these medicines but like it's still not I should take it back it's not coming up it's loosening up I can't get it to like fully come up which causes me to go do these coffee foot y'all but yeah I decided to take today off just because last night was a rough night and you know I'm starting to get better I don't want to just you know I don't want to jinx it you know like I really really want to get better so I'm getting myself two days and then I'm a um and then I'm gonna go back to school. And I feel bad today because <laughs> the kids were working towards the ice cream party. <coughs> Excuse me. The kids were working towards the ice cream party. Um, and they finally won it and I'm not even gonna be there. And then me and um me and the teacher I work with, she wanted to take them on a walking field trip which is just up the street to the creek and um i'm not gonna be there but luckily we have a sped ta in our room so i'm sure she's filling in the gaps that's why i don't feel too bad because one thing i know baby is someone always is some is someone's gonna be there to pick up the pieces <laughs> so i'm giving myself the grace to just you know <laughs> Take some time off because honey i do not take time off the only time i ever took time off was when i caught covid and th that don't you know that was mandatory but yeah y'all y'all i just y'all just don't know i need to get well honey <laughs> like i'm sitting here thinking to myself I was on I was on my weight loss journey and I was doing so good. <coughs> I was coming up on my first 20 pounds. Y'all my toe was bothering me. I'm sorry. Give me a minute. A few moments later. Okay y'all, we back. So I was going to the gym and everything. And you know what? I'm actually really glad I don't have to meet with my personal trainer. I do got a personal trainer, but I'm glad I ain't got to meet with her for two weeks because she took off for vacation because, honey, like, I just can't. And if you, like, if you don't, um, if you don't, um, do the session together, we got to make it up because you, you paid for a certain amount of sessions, so you have to get your buddy's work. But, and she gave me some workouts to do, and I told her, I, I told her I was gonna do it, and I had full intentions of doing it, but honey, I got pneumonia, and uh, it's hard to breathe sometimes. And yeah, y'all, but I just want to get back to like going to the gym and stuff. The gym was really relaxing for me, and uh, oh, child. Anyways, y'all, I'm pulled up here at McDonald's, but. Anyways, the gym just be, like, really relaxing for me and stuff. And, like, I had goals. Like, I still got, I still got, like, another, you know, I 
think I got like another 40 pounds I want to lose, honey, or something. I don't know. But I was losing weight, and honey, I finally got up out of the, um, I finally got up out of the, um, the 250s. Because I was in the 250s for the longest time, honey. And y'all, like, I was in the 250s for the longest. And I think last Monday, even though I was feeling like, no, Tuesday, because I've been going to, I ain't been going to the gym, but I have been going to the sessions with my trainer. And y'all, like, I was struggling, but I did the full session. I did the full session, plus I usually do, like, another 30 minutes of cardio because I do straight training with her. But, um, anyways, y'all still got, like, 64 pounds or so I was doing my watch. I can't co compete this morning. It's too early. But I still got 64 pounds I want to lose, and I want to lose it by summertime. So, like, and it only took me, like, a month to lose the 20, a month and some change. Like a month or two weeks. But that was only because, honey, I just, I just been going through it. Like, I signed up for the gym. I caught COVID. I get well. Then, I start, I took that, um, I, I got the booster, y'all. I ain't proud, but I got that booster, y'all. And, the, I swear, like, the booster had my whole armpit on swole. And y'all, they was like, that's normal for your lip nose to swell like that. And I said, hold the heck on. Don't nobody want to be walking around with a golf ball in they armpit. But they was like, yeah, that's normal. So that deterred me from going to the gym because, you know, I'll be working. I'll be working about Michelle Obama. Oh, hey, hey. But yeah, so I took the booster and the booster had me down and out for a little bit. And then, now I got pneumonia, like, and I signed up for the gym. I just want, I just want to give y'all time to wait. I signed up for the gym in January, and here it is, March, and, like, it's just a lot, but, y'all, I'm here at the Donuts. Hold on, let me see if y'all can see. I'm here at the Golden Arches, and I'm going to get me breakfast, and then I'm going to come back. I'm sorry. Okay, y'all, I'm back. As y'all saw, y'all, my baby sister put me on to, um, she put me on to the sausage McGriddles, honey. I ain't, I ain't started having sausage McGriddles until, uh, just recently, y'all. This is a, ooh, how, how the tubers do it. This is a iced caramel coffee, 180 calories. I was getting a latte. Honey, that latte is like 300 and some calories, you know. Even though I ain't going to the gym, I'm watching myself, okay? The armor truck back there. I don't know if you can see it. The armor truck with the money back there. <laughs> but, y'all, like, 
My sister put me on in them sauces with big girls. I'm about, <laughs> something about sweet and salty and it's it's, it's good, y'all. But usually my go-to is um sausage egg McMuffins, y'all. Like, ooh. But oh, oh my god, we're trapped again. Fix it, G. All right, I kind of got y'all wedged, but my go-to is usually a sausage McMuffin. I've said that like three or four times, honey, uh, with the egg. Oh, my gosh. Like, I could eat those all day. It's just my thing is sometimes whoever making the egg, they don't, like, make sure it's cooked. And so that egg be as runny or, like, on the outer edges it be done. And then in the middle, it be runny. So, it's a, that used to be busting. But I do not like runny eggs. I don't like them squirting in my mouth. I don't like, I don't like that. So, I don't really get those. And then, ooh, y'all don't know. Wendy's breakfast is busted too. Them seasoned potato wedges. You know, up here in Alaska, we ain't got the choices to choose from. Well, at least not major like fast food. We got a really great selection of like local eateries and stuff. But a Wendy's seasoned potato wedges, honey, that's as close as I'm going to get to a rallies. Rallies, french fries. I remember the first time I ever went to rallies, y'all. The first time I ever went to rallies, y'all. I was uh, I was in Memphis and my cousin took me there. Y'all, who changed my life, y'all? Like McDonald's, who? Like, <laughs> well, yeah, y'all. I'm gonna be back to the house, and I need to stop doing all this talk because it's kind of hard to catch my breath here. But um, I'm gonna be back to the house. I ain't got nothing going on today. Kids don't got no appointments. I ain't got no work. I do have college, my online college, and uh, I started three new classes this week, honey. I ain't even looked at them. Well, I gazed at them. I gazed at them except for uh, except for public speaking because the instructor didn't even have it out there yet. But um, yeah, y'all, I'm gonna go home take my medication, get me two puffs on my halo. <laughs> I'm gonna sit down, okay? But, I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Y'all, <laughs> good sis is in a dilemma don't judge me i took my wig off don't judge me but y'all like i low-key like i want to go and either get a slush and italian soda or i want to get something like we got stuff here at the house but it's not it's not giving what i needed to give like i need something on my palate I'm sure y'all like, girl, you got whole pneumonia. Like, what is you doing out here in these streets? But y'all, like, I don't know. And my mom was so nice enough to go and pick up Fat Mama for me from daycare. But y'all, like, I don't know. <laughs> See, this is why I don't do good at home because I be like, I I'm so used to like doing something and being on the go. <laughs> Like, I go to work, get off work, go to the gym, go pick up my uh, oldest from after school program. We come home, cook dinner, do dishes, bath, homework. I got to do my homework. Like, I'm so used to always on the go, go, go. Like, just sitting here, I ain't got nothing to do. I don't know what to do myself, but. <laughs> Like
<laughs> hey, we gotta figure out something. And like, especially if I plan on going to work tomorrow, like, oh my gosh, I got a firm. I did a um I did a failed perm rock set. And um my hair is so dry, y'all. It is so dry, so freaking crunchy. Like, I don't know what to do. Uh, and I got like, if I'm gonna do something, like I need to do it now because my mama gonna be sick and she gonna be like, "You supposed to be resting." Like I tried to lay down, but when I lay down. I don't know how to describe it. Like, when I lay down, it's like, you know how I told you, and you know how I told y'all that mucus has became loose, so it feels, like, liquidy, and I can, like, feel it on my chest, and then, like, it tries to come up, but it don't come up, so then it's just kind of just sitting there in the back of my throat, just tickling, but we're gonna figure something out. Like, if y'all go back... Y'all need to go back and look at my other videos because if y'all look like sis had like a real noticeable double chin and look at me now like jawline trying to come all the way through like like okay a weight loss coming through but let's see what I'm gonna do. Y'all gonna see. <sighs> All right, y'all. So, y'all gotta forgive me because, honey, my type was about my type. Huh. I was just uh, my type. <laughs> my sweetie. But, Anyways, y'all, <coughs> see, my chest was starting to bother me, and so, he said whenever you got, like, tightness in your chest, or you just feel like you starting to get out of breath, he was like, hit it with the inhaler, so I hit it with the inhaler, okay, but, um, dang, I do feel a little dizzy, um, yeah, so, Mom is picking up oldest from the after school program and she took she took my um my fat mama that's my youngest <laughs> and because she want to play so bad and we've been picking her up we don't like her to have a long day at daycare so we've been picking her up at like um at like 2 45 three o'clock and so that's like the time that she'd be going outside and honey she been walking around the house with her little snow pants so she's like i want to go outside mama i want to go outside and i'm like sweetie like mama does not feel I i'm not gonna say i don't feel well i'm just like tired and lazy and like Like, you see, like, just now, like, just doing stuff, I get, like, out of breath, like, really easily. Like, I'll be wearing my mask, and I'll be, instead of breathing through my nose, I'm literally breathing through my mouth, because I feel like I'm just not getting enough air. But, um, yeah, so I'm gonna do my hair real quick. Y'all, my birthday, like I said in my previous video, it should be up by now. Um, my birthday's coming up. It is next Thursday. And so, I want to try to install a quick weave. Y'all, like, let me know. Okay, so, we finna be talking before I put, put my hair together. But, y'all, up here in Alaska, hold on. Okay, y'all, the house phone rang. Where'd I leave off at? Oh, so... Y'all, I'm going to do a quick weave for my birthday. You know, just give my hair some time to breathe. Um, I'm going to wait to do, um, 
I'm gonna wait to do like um uh, my um my um kiki my kiki twist because babe when i go visit him he say he like the kiki twist so i'm gonna do the kiki twist there but anyways y'all up here in alaska that's one thing i hate about being up here in alaska and one thing i miss about being down there in the south is that um up here in alaska since there is like rare i think i can count on maybe one hand how many black stylists are up here that do weaves um, you know, ain't no competition, and, and so they can charge whatever they want to charge. Y'all, just for a quick weave, I was looking online, um, they want to charge, like, two fifty for a quick weave, with a closure, two fifty for a quick weave. Now, when I was in Tennessee, there's this girl, she, um, she was a, uh, she was a military wife, shout out to her, Miss Aaliyah. Um, I forget her name, but if I, if I remember, I'm going to put it right here. Um, but, y'all, I would get a regular weave, regular sew-in weave. i get that for, like, 50 bucks from her. And, I mean, even if I was to add a closure, she would probably add maybe $15, $20 to that. But a quick weave? Mind you, with that quick weave, they want you to come with your hair wash condition blow dried um uh, trimmed they don't want no oils in your hair like ain't nobody got time for that hey. if i'm doing all of that what am i paying you 250 dollars for now i wouldn't mind paying 250 dollars if all of that was included the wash condition blow dry a trim the braid down and that if all of that was included i would pay that 250 but i'm doing half your work you literally just gotta plait up my hair sew the tracks on and by the being by the boot and then they charge for a style too if you want to get a style it's an extra um i want to say it's like an extra 35 or something i don't know but anyways they out here just monopolizing the prices so I refuse to, so I'm going to try to do my own quickly. Stay tuned. But in the meantime, in between time, y'all, because um, I want to do it this weekend. So, here, I'm going to show y'all. I did a failed perm rod set. In my, like, 12 years off and on of being natural, perm rod set, I have just not been able to master. Um... I just have not been able to master it. It's really sad, actually. But I did a failed perm rod set. And this is what my hair looked like. This is it. This is this is what it looks like. And it's a mess. And my hair is so dry. Um, I'm going to show y'all what I use. This is what I use. I use this ISO Plus. Uh, foaming wrap setting lotion it has a firm hold body shine it's supposed to be fast drying alcohol free this is why i use i got it at my beauty supply store y'all can see what i got it at the beauty supply store for i got it for 749 y'all like and that's how much i use like it, 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 there's a reason why it's fast drying baby because it leaves your hair just as dry as dry could be honey um and i was gonna try to do it again with um this cream of nature it's got a new look the cream of nature style and shine foaming mousse i was gonna do it with this um but i use this on my wig and i don't know if it's because hold on see on my wig i use this and I never wash my wig, so it's really, I got this, and this is Motion's Versatile Foam Styling Lotion um, with Shea Butter, Argan Oil, and Coconut Oil. I love this. I, lo I used to be able to get this at Walmart for like $3.23. I went to Walmart when I had to go get, put in my uh, scripture. This is up to, it's either 5 or $6. But, anyways... Uh, basically on my wig i did these two on top of each other because i've never watched that headband wig y'all that headband wig is crunchy af like it's crunchy af and 
I was just like, dang. See, this is why you stick to what you know, honey. I'm out here trying to try stuff, and I'm messing up stuff. But, okay, so, hear me out. This is the vision, okay? So, I'm going to, I'm going to have a bang. Because I haven't done a bang in a while. I'm going to have a bang. I'm going to try to perm out, see what we're looking like. But, if it don't work out, then, I don't know what I'm going to do, but... Um, I'm going to have a bang. I'm going to perm around my bang. So, I'm going to have a bang. And then, I'm going to take this hair here. Once I moisturize it and all that other good stuff. I'm going to take it here. The rest of the hair. Imagine the bang. The rest of the hair, I'm going to take it. And I'm going to put it in a puff. And then I'm going to perm around the puffs. And then, I might add some little curly cues or something. Because I'm only going to go to work for two days. Yeah. Because today is Wednesday, right? So, Thursday, Friday, and then over the weekend, I'm going to wash it, blow dry, and have my mama plait it down for me, and then I'm going to, you know. But, let me get this done, and I'm going to call y'all back. I'm going to call y'all back. Alright, y'all, so this is what we look like. So, I got the bangs in the front, and then I got the curly poo-poo that top. Okay. I want y'all to look. I hope y'all can see it. Y'all can see it, but and I was gonna put a bonnet over all the top of this, but kids. So I'm gonna see if I because I got another scarf. I got scarf for dates, so I'm gonna see if I'm gonna put another scarf. But compared to my other perm rods, like y'all see how smooth that hair is, like and if it don't work out, uh well, y'all already know. Headband wig for the win. Yeah, see, it's not gonna cover. It's not gonna cover my poof at the top. But I got another scarf. Ooh, child, I'm gonna be scarfing it up, but yeah. So, I'll probably see y'all after I eat dinner when I'm doing schoolwork. 